How's it going, everybody? Today, the com the gameplay you're going to be seeing is, um, I think it starts off kind of slow, but then it picks up real fast. It's a really good gameplay on Modern Warfare 2, which I don't really red gun on, but I decided, fuck it, I'm going to red gun. And then I thought of this conversation last night. Um, I'm sorry if you hear my phone go off. Uh, Optic Gaming, at the beginning of the year... It was Crim6, Formal, Scumpy, and Nade Shot. And then after the World Championships, they lost the World Championships. Nade Shot decided to retire. Um, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about how Optic Gaming has pretty much revolutionized. I don't know if I say that completely. But they changed the game for sure. Because now Optic Gaming's roster, and after their complete dominance of AW... Uh, I guess other teams slowly started picking up on why they were doing so good. Um, right now, the roster is Skump, Formal, Crim6, and Karma, which is a Slayer, a Slayer, a Support Player, and a Slayer. So there's basically four Slayers on one team with them all playing OBJ when they need to, and Crim6 calling the... He's calling the strats and stuff like that. He's doing a lot of the, like vocal stuff while we both we everybody knows scumpy can put up huge numbers formal can and karma can and so can crimson Crim six can put up huge numbers too and they were the only team when they went on that huge run they were literally one of the only teams with four slayers on there and then uh, they just they were literally the best team in the league debatably but they were one of the best teams in the league um Scumpy, he's, he's stats in season three, just in season three alone, he's second ranked in KD. Um, and then foremost fifth place. That's just top five, two top five players in Optic Gaming in the KD ratio. Uplink caps, they're not the best uplink team, but I think they're slowly working on their uplink. Uh, Crim6 is in sixth place with 22 and Skump has 18. Karma's right after Skump with 17 in 12th and 13th place. But in hard point, hard point caps, Crim6, the support player, has 103 caps. Which is, it's kind of crazy. Um, <laughs> shit, I'm sorry. Skump has 100 caps. It, they're, they may be straight slayers, but they know how to play OBJ. They've been around the game for a while. Krim and formal not as long as Scumpy has. And then in just straight Slayer, Scump is in first place with 35 kill ratio a game. Formal with 34.56 in third place. And then in 12th place is Krim 6. But that's three players in the top 12 in, only on Optic Gaming. That's three players. And then there's... I don't want to go over the S&D stats. The S&D stats aren't that great. But... Everybody knows the team that knocked up in game Optic Gaming off and has been winning the tournaments recently. They made a they made some team switches. I think they got rid of um attach, not attach. They got rid of fuck, sure and hook, or temp one of those. Um, and they picked up Clayster and Z attach. Clayster is one of the best slayers in the game, and he can also strat call very well. Uh, and Abel is, he won Gfinity with Optic Gaming as a pickup for Karma because he couldn't go passport thing or whatever. Zuma is also a really good slayer. He's a good sub player along with, I mean, he don't outmatch Scumpy, but he's a really good sub player and attached. He's a slayer also. So there's four slayers on this team also. The team that took Optic Gaming down and has been constantly beating them has four slayers. They're one of the only teams with four, these two teams I'm looking at right now are the only ones with three slayers and a support. And they're the team that teams that are literally dominating the whole league. In the season three play in the season three stats, enables in third place for KD, and Clayster's in ninth place with KD. So that's two in the top ten. In uplink caps, uh I don't see any of them there. Attach has twenty eight. Uh, yeah, Attach has 28. Hold on, give me a second, guys. Okay, so Attach has 28. 
He has 28 uplinks, which is um, a good bit. And as we move over to hard point caps, uh, uh, Attach has 144. So he's like their main OBJ player, but like Zuma has 118. These guys, I've seen them play. They play uplink. They were the one of the first people to, on uplink riot. They pulled out three bowels and just kept pushing up the map and were completely destroying teams. Like it was, it was kind of crazy. Um, on the Slayer, Slasher is in second place, right behind Skump, and then um, Clayster. He gets a lot of kills and stuff, but he's not. Super high up there because his teammates do get more kills than him. But he, he holds down spawns and stuff. That's his job. And then in S and D K D, Clayster's in 7th. Enables in 6th. And Zuma's in number 1. Zuma is a really good S and D player. That's one of the reasons they have so much success in S and D. And, you know, they're they're taking out Optic Gaming right now. Uh, Optic, I'm, I hope... I'm a, I'm a fan of Opti Gaming. I hope they're gonna take world championships from them, cause they've been practicing like constantly, just back to back. And hopefully, I mean, I don't want to put down Face Clan or anything. I love Face Clan, but I, for competitive Opti Gaming, I I've I've fanboyed them for a while. I just want Face Clan to get like too confident and Opti be able to take them down. They're working on their uplink. I know that Scump was talking about that, and I think they have a good chance. They're both really good teams. If you want to watch just one match in in the game, just watch Optic and Phase. If whenever they get matched up, it might ha it might have to wait till the grand finals. But if whenever or whenever they get matched up, watch them. They those the games are literally so close and so much fun to watch. They're it's insane what these guys can do. Like they're literally the best players in the world, and I mean. There's not much more you can say. These guys, Optic Gaming revolutionary, revolutionized gaming. Like just putting, having the balls to get four slayers and not worry about OBJ is kind of crazy. They, they, I don't know. They didn't really struggle a little bit. Their uplink with Nade Shot was, it was, it was on point. Nade Shot, you can give him all the shit you want, but he could run an uplink ball like nobody else. When with the slayers of Crim Six, Scumpy, and Karma, not Karma, fuck, and Formal, if you gave Nade the ball and they just pushed up the map, they were probably going to score, and that's how much success they had, but after after World Championships, he decided, he decided to retire, he's been playing for a really long time, maybe not as long as Scumpy, but he, I don't know, they've been around for, Scumpy's been around for a long time, and Scumpy is debatably, I'm going to say he's the best slayer in the game, just the, some of the stuff I've seen him do, is is insane he he goes off and there's nothing the other team can do about it when scumpy's going off they literally have it's it's crazy when scumpy if they they're they've been struggling the past couple of games scumpy's talked about it a couple of other people's talking about it scump's like oh i'm the only one that brings the hype to the booth which is debatable within their team but i don't want to talk about that scumpy is a really extremely hype play, play fuck dude why am i stuttering he's an extremely hype player if you see him when he gets going and he gets on a streak you'll like, he may not start off super fast, but in the middle of the game, you'll look at his scoreboard. He'll be on, like, an eight streak, and his teammates will feed off his energy, and they'll just start going. Um, they keep getting taken out by a phase, but I think that they have a good chance during World Champs. The way they've been practicing and stuff, I think they have a good chance to take champs. If not, and they get that second place, it'll be very just The World Championships, the first season... Or, first the first World Championships for AW was kind of disappointing. They got taken... They were too confident, I guess... They weren't feeling it, as they were saying. They got taken out. They put into the loser's bracket right off the bat. And then they didn't even make it to the grand finals, I don't think. And no one expected Denial to come win, which was pretty insane. Props to Denial. But the team switches without Clayster. I don't see them. They might, they, they're they still a really good squad, but I don't see them outdoing Optic or FaZe in this. I, I'm going to say it's going to be FaZe and Optic in the grand finals. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video.